Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a piece of disk cloning software, which also incorporates backups and restores, all that kind of good stuff, and is completely free. I'm not entirely sure who recommended this piece of software, but whoever it was, thank you very much. It is actually excellent. I've been doing some playing around with it and uh, checking out some of its features, so I figured I would share it with those of you that are into drive cloning or even just doing drive backups. Really great piece of software, completely free. I know you've probably seen it more times than you care to mention on this channel, but we keep on finding these new pieces of software and I like to try and educate you all of what is actually available and maybe you'll find this to be the one that you actually like. Now, the piece of software we're looking at today is called MultiDrive and this is actually, yeah, really cool. Probably the best thing to do, head over to the computer and let's take a closer look and take a look at some of the features. Okay, so this is the website, so multidrive.io. Links obviously will be in the video description, so you can check it out there. So multidrive, you can choose to do backups, cloning, disk erasing. It's also got a command line interface, and the company actually, multidrive, are specialists, or the company that owns them, is they're basically specialists in data recovery. I think it's Atola technology. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not entirely sure. Let's accept the cookies. And as it says there, it's a free download. So I've already gone ahead and done that, downloaded it. It's very simple, just download it to a location, install software as you would normally. There's no tricks or hidden things going on in the background. So you can do that if you uh, if you want to. Gives you an idea of what it looks like. So it's a nice clean interface, very simple. Got your dashboard, all your tools, etc. So it's a, a very nice bit of kit. Backups, cloning, restore and erasing drives command line interface also it does parallel operations so essentially it'll run as fast as your drives can actually run so there isn't a great deal of software overhead which is awesome so yeah there is uh, the overview of the software and if we actually click on it and get it running you get the user account control so click on ok and multi-drive will load up it's pretty snappy so let's have a quick tour of what is going on here so we've got our dashboard so it tells you things which are in progress here We've also got tasks which have already been completed or are in progress. That is actually a very cool thing. And also it lists the drives which are physically connected to your machine. So that's pretty cool. So let me plug in another drive. I'm actually going to plug this in over a USB Type-C connection. So it's not going to be particularly fast. I think it's only like 5 gigabit per second. But it will give you an idea of what is going on here. So as you can see, the drive has been populated and it says that it's USB. Obviously, it tells you the type of drive it is there, so NVMe, also the drive letter, if that is uh, appropriate. So that's great. Let's look at the options we've got then. So we've got options for cloning. So again, very simple. Basically, it's going to ask you for your source drive and also the target drive. And you can actually clone to drives which are smaller, obviously, depending on the data size. So if you've got a two terabyte drive and you've only got 500 gigs of data on there, you can transfer it to a 500 gig drive or a one terabyte drive whatever you want to do. So it is backwards compatible, so you can clone larger disks to smaller disks. And of course, the opposite applies as well. So you can install onto a large drive. So if you're migrating from a one terabyte to a two terabyte, that's absolutely fine as well. I'm not entirely sure whether it does automatic resizing, but you can easily do that in Windows anyway, should you need to. So that is those things covered. We'll do us a quick clone once we've gone through the rest of the options here. So you've got backup. So in the backup section, again, you've got your source section here on the left. So choose which drive it is you actually want to back up. And also you can specify a target either in the file format of a rule or a zipped folder. And also you can split files. So if you want to split files for easy transportation, then you can do that as well. So for backups, that's pretty cool. Also, when it comes to restoring, you can do it the other way around. So you can then you can take a file and actually restore it to a target drive. That's pretty good. And also, obviously, the arrays, you can basically choose which drive to erase. So if we choose that one there, our Western Digital Black, just click on Erase, and it'll basically go through and do a complete erase of the drive. It's basically empty anyway, but what it's going to go ahead and do is write over the 00, zero hex pattern across the entire drive. So we can cancel that or pause it. And as you can see, there's things going on here. So I was actually doing a clone earlier. So a two terabyte drive to a 500 gig, and you can see there is paused, and the drive has been unplugged. So if you want to, you can actually resume a task. So if you get to a point where you're backing up a disk or cloning a disk, and you've got to go out and do something, turn the computer off, or you just need to get on and do some work, and you don't want to have the disks 
being used, then you can just pause the task mid flow and then resume it when you're ready. So that's actually a pretty cool thing. So let's go back to the cloning. So we're gonna go ahead and do a clone now. So we're gonna choose our source drive. So that's our main Acer Predator drive, the GM7000. So that's the drive I want to clone, which is a two terabyte drive. I'm actually gonna clone it to a target drive, which is our Western Digital Black, which is a one terabyte. And we click on clone. And it says, when the cloning process is complete, please unplug the target drive before rebooting your PC. Otherwise there'll be two identical operating system boot drives and yeah, it can lead to boot failure and all kinds of silly stuff happening. So it's critical that you disconnect the drive before rebooting. So make sure that you're aware of that. And when you're happy, type yes and click confirm. And it says here, proceed with clone. The target drive is smaller than the specified data byte range. Do you want to continue? Yes, we definitely do. So click on continue and that is effectively it. So now it's just gonna basically prepare the drive and uh, do the cloning process. So again, you are gonna be limited to whatever the devices are attached to. So if they're on NVMe, on fast PCI Express Gen 5 or Gen 4 ports, obviously you're gonna get the best speeds out of them. Otherwise, uh, yeah, USB wise we're on at the moment. So we are limited to uh, quite a low megabytes per second transfer because that is the limitation of the USB 3 5 gigabit per second. So that's gonna tell you basically how long it's gonna to take to do the clone. And of course, if you want to, you can actually click on that bit there. So you get the idea of the data flow as it's happening. So you can see how fast the drive is writing and then being written to. And if you press on that again, so that gives you the kind of estimated time. So you can see roughly in a percentage how far along the data is actually been done. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing altogether. I like this, I think it's great. And of course, if you want to, you can if you're in the middle of doing something and you maybe want to stop doing this a minute so you can turn back to the camera to finish off a video, just click on pause. And then it's here ready. So you, when you're happy and you want to go back in and do it, so we go back into our clone and we'll just resume the cloning. How cool is that? I really do like that. I think that is an excellent feature and I'm sure it's going to come in very handy, especially when the Amazon man comes and or I'm shooting a video and I get interrupted, then yeah, this is uh, pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to leave this running, and uh, despite what I've just said, I'm going to go back and finish off this video. So there we go, I think you'll agree, it's a pretty cool piece of software. I like it a lot. Uh, there's no speed restrictions as such, other than the restrictions of either your drives themselves, the ports they're connected to, or possibly CAD is, because obviously, as you've seen, it does support USB transfer as well, which is something which a lot of these cloning softwares don't actually do sometimes. So yeah, I think this is possibly gonna be one of my favorites. Alternatively, if you want to check out something a little bit different with a little bit more flexibility and a few more features, then you can also check out Disk Genius. We've done a couple of videos on that as well. And uh, I will probably put a playlist actually in the video description. So if you wanna check out the different options we've gone through over the years for disk cloning, then uh, feel free to check that out. I'm sure you'll find some interesting products. But overall, I think this one, actually for the majority of people is gonna be absolutely great. And of course it's absolutely free. It's regularly updated as well. I think this updated version was from the 5th of August. We're now heading towards the end of August. So it does appear they are actually paying attention to the software and improving it or updating it should they need to. So anyway, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and then don't forget to hit the notification icon and choose all, that way you've been notified of all our video releases. I think that's gonna wrap this up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.